Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Courtney and I'm from New Zealand. Welcome into the channel. So I put out a community post for all my members above the gold tier on my channel memberships and I asked, what do you want me to react to? And this one is from Cody and I'm so, so excited. If you guys know me, you will know that I love watching food videos, especially from the US. It's one of my favorite things about the US. Honestly, every time I go, I love trying all the foods. Um, so this one is chain burger restaurants ranked from worst to best. In the US. I've probably been to some of these. My favorite is Five Guys. I love Five Guys, but there might be something better on here. Let me know what is your favorite burger fast food chain restaurant down below. Um, or if you just don't mess with chain restaurants, I totally get it. I quite like chain restaurants to be honest with you. But anyways, we're gonna get straight into today's video. Big shout out to Cody for sending through this awesome looking video and let's do it. While hamburgers might have been invented in Germany, America has mastered the burger. Yeah. Oh, Along I'm with so a bevy of spectacular now. burgers from coast to coast, I'm there so are burger-shaped debacles you'd be wise to dodge. Here's our ranking of oh, chain burger restaurants in so order, starting in with the absolute worst. Oh, this is gonna be A trip to Sonic Drive-In <gasps> is not a waste of time. They have many yummy items on their menu, from their Apparently iconic cherry the limeade to their fantastic I've hot never dogs. Had it before. Other great choices include their onion rings and their spicy <laughs> yet delectable cheddar peppers. However, if you're headed to Sonic for a burger, you will have a bad time. What? Sonic's burgers are so bland and so forgettable that really? you will be completely underwhelmed. Is it for By the final bite of your burger, you will be angry that you spent your hard-earned dough what? on something that What's wasn't any tastier than the mass-produced burger found at the closest elementary school. If you're visiting Sonic, stick to their famous slushes, their scrumptious Maybe ice cream, thoughts. or simple snack food like the Don't aforementioned hot that. dogs and onion rings. I'm so if you're serious about acquiring a top-of-the-line burger, Sonic is clearly wow, not the place to go. Harsh, they? They if you visited harsh. Fuddruckers as a child, Ooh, you likely have extremely before. fond memories. Remember submerging your burger with so much liquid cheese from their cheese pump that your mom got embarrassed? <laughs> Remember pump. all the games, all the televisions, and the comfortable is atmosphere that so open, enthralled or? you when you like were young? Donut? Yeah, those were some fun times. Tragically, though, those times are gone. Fuddruckers isn't what you remember. The fantastic, mm -hmm. juicy, made-to-order burgers of yesteryear have been replaced by sad, overpriced burgers that don't do your memories justice. Oh, don't really? let nostalgia convince you that a trip to Fuddruckers is a good this idea. Is it's a far cry from what it used to be in its heyday. Years ago, Fuddruckers would have been in the top five or even the top three on a list like this. Wow. Now, this place is barely able to stay out of last that place. Like a good burger right there. Dairy Queen is great for what it is, but shouldn't be the restaurant you go to when you want to eat a great burger. I didn't Dairy know Queen that has Dairy a ton Queen of lizard flavors, and many of them are amazing. Go to Dairy Queen when your sweet tooth is begging for a dessert, but don't visit this restaurant when you have a craving for a burger. Burgers. At what? best, a Dairy Queen burger is a rubbery, disappointing sandwich that you'll try to forget as you eat your blizzard. Oh. At worst, their burgers are a charred, what? soggy nightmare that that might even leave you feeling sick. <laughs> pound for pound, White Castle burgers are head. decent. Unfortunately, they are burgers just way too insane. small. Their burgers, which they call Ugh. sliders due to their puny size, will fine. struggle to fill you up, even if you're not that hungry. Ew. You'll probably have to order five or six of these Looks things like to put a dent in your hunger. Burger. And dealing with all those sliders is more embarrassing than it is satiating. Skip <laughs> the hassle and the awkwardness so and just go to a better chain burger restaurant. To White Castle's credit, it does try to make up for its shortcomings by offering about a dozen types of sliders. Sadly, oh, the quantity of choices doesn't overcome oh. the lack of substance. Considering the sliders are so small, there's only so yeah, much they can do to improve. A&W has a history dating all the way back to 1919, and to this day, more than 100 years later, this restaurant chain is known for its root beer. The chain has been offering burgers for decades, and A&W even claims to have that invented the bacon good. cheeseburger, which has now become a part of American life. Yeah, While A&W has an impressive resume and should be proud of its longevity and accomplishments over the last century, all of that is ancient history. When it comes to the Papa here and now, Buka. the burgers this restaurant offers are below average. For example, really? the original bacon cheeseburger may have been a novel menu item decades ago. But today, this sandwich is lacking in beef, bacon, and quality Cutting toppings. Costs, Part of the problem is the burger's massive buns overwhelming every other aspect of the sandwich. It's just too much. 
Interesting. While no one would ever say McDonald's burgers are the best of the best, they do get some bonus points for being oh, consistent. Shoot, on the no list, matter you where you are on the planet, you can order one of their burgers and be That's confident true. about what you will receive. That's Moreover, true. the Big Mac has been a national phenomenon since 1968. Like it's Big impossible Mac? to go through your existence as an American without at least having a couple of Big Macs along the way. The Quarter Yum. Pounder, which launched a few years later in 1971 and went national not long after, is also an American institution in its own right. While the consistency is admirable, the quality of McDonald's burgers simply can't compete with the competition. Thanks to that famous jingle, we know the many ingredients that like comprise a Big Mac. However, despite American all that is on it, a Big Mac has relatively little flavor American and certainly McDonald's doesn't have the meaty though, goodness that say. other burgers boast. Add in the unhealthfulness of some of their other burger options, and it's clear that McDonald's is unlikely to ever rise in a ranking like this one. In New Zealand. <laughs> when it comes down to bang for your buck, Rallies really Ooh. delivers. What their burgers this? are inexpensive and adequate enough for you to be satisfied with your visit. And if Rally's isn't in your region, you may know it better as Checkers. It's the same so cool. company. However, this, this chain burger restaurant comes up a bit short if you're simply judging their burgers for their quality without factoring in value. As good as oh. Rally's burgers look, they How lack the I immense know? flavor found at competing restaurants. As an example, their Baconzilla looks like Wendy's Baconator and this even has meaty. similar ingredients. However, the Baconzilla is not nearly as tasty. Likewise, as good as Rally's Big Buford looks, you need to keep your deal. expectations in check when you order it to avoid I mean, being if it's, disappointed. If it's two for five dollars, I don't Since mind. Since opening their first location <laughs> in 1986 in Los Angeles, oh Johnny gosh, Rockets been has been before. a popular destination for those I've who want an entertaining 1950s diner experience while enjoying a good burger. While this restaurant consistently provides the fun, eccentric vibe of a 50s Cute. diner, the quality of their burgers is much less consistent. Even if you've had a very tasty burger from Johnny Rockets, don't be too confident that your next visit will result in a burger of equal quality. No, the late Anthony Bourdain found out firsthand that Johnny Rockets doesn't okay, always no live shape. up to expectations. As he told wow. Conan O'Brien, well, Look, I, I've eaten a lot of really nasty things on my show, but nothing is soul destroying as my airport Johnny Rockets experience. Ooh, not the if airport, you're willing though. to roll the dice, the Johnny Rockets is an it's okay place to go for good. a burger. But if you get unlucky <laughs> like airport. Anthony Bourdain did, you'll be talking about your misfortune for years to come. You can't expect much in the if you're okay with, with a perfectly adequate burger, Carl's Jr. won't leave you disappointed. None of their burgers will especially Jr. wow you, we'll and you shouldn't go out of your way to visit places. one of their locations. But Carl's oh, Jr. has so a long list now. of available burgers, and none of them will leave you disheartened. Need help ordering at Carl's Jr.? The Western oh Bacon Cheeseburger gosh. is so unique that it's Yum. something you should try while you're still in the land of the living. This oh, bad boy features a beef before. patty, a pair of bacon strips, a slice of American cheese, a delightfully tangy barbecue sauce, and most notably, onion rings within a sesame seed bun. Oh. Jack in the Box is a popular burger spot, oh, particularly Jack for those man. west of the Mississippi. For a newbie, ordering a burger at this place it is a dangerous proposition. Some of the items on their burger menu are really good. However, others oh, are a big disappointment. Okay. The Sourdough Jack is a big winner. Along with a beef patty, you'll Whoa. find bacon, Swiss cheese, a high-quality tomato slice, ketchup, and mayo a on a delicious sourdough bread. On the other end of the spectrum, though, is the ultimate cheeseburger. This burger, which contains two beef patties and both American cheese and Swiss cheese, isn't good at all. It has a mushy what? texture and a taste that somehow manages to be too savory. Plus, the melty cheese, oh, buttery bun, and the presence the of ketchup, mayo, and mustard make it a mess to eat. Do yourself oh, a favor I love a and burger. skip it. I love a Missy burger. After I beginning say. life as a bar in the 1940s, Red Robin has grown into a chain Red restaurant Robin. in which burgers are front and center of everything they do. Before. While they offer a pleasant sit-down dining experience and a number of inventive and tasty burgers, the fact that pineapple? most of their burgers cost Yum. around $11 makes visiting a guys. Red Robin an iffy decision value-wise. Many of their burgers taste good, but not quite $11 good. An example of the inventiveness mm. of Red Robin's burgers is, is their Bonsai Burger, which apparently draws some of its inspiration it from Japan. The beef patty is glazed with teriyaki sauce and is topped with grilled slices of pineapple, pineapple along with cheddar with cheese, yeah, tomato, know. lettuce, and mayonnaise. If you want to turn up the heat, opt for the Burn and Love Burger that will immolate your taste buds with the help of fried jalapenos, a heaping dollop of salsa, and pepper jack cheese. 
While both of these burgers are really good, be prepared for some sticker shock at the end of your meal. Oh, he's living his best the best life thing like about that. Burger King is that their burgers are all safely above average, cooking. and that makes it nearly impossible to mess up your order. I'm Additionally, so their beef has a flame grilled though. flavor that is one of a kind and undeniably Surprising. memorable. If you love that flame grilled taste, Burger video. King could leapfrog <laughs> over the competition and become one of your favorite two or three burger joints. On the other hand, if you find that flavor off putting, you may actively avoid Burger King for the think? rest of your days. The staple of Burger King's flame grilled burger menu is the legendary Whopper. Beyond the flame grilled taste, the, the meat is juicy, legit. the it bun is big. amazing, and the other ingredients are of high quality. If you want something heartier, the massive triple Whopper with cheese will fill you to the brim. If you're east of the Mississippi, there's a good chance <gasps> you've never seen a fat burger, here. as a vast majority of the I'm chain's locations it. are in California. However, in the Golden State, it seems like everyone has only positive things to say about this burger chain. And while fat no. burger isn't the cream of the crop, they certainly <laughs> deserve their spot in the top half of our ranking. The most famous burger at Fat Burger is called, of course, the, the Fat, Fat Burger. <laughs> this burger has a 100% beef patty, lettuce, onion, That's tomato, nice. pickles, relish, mayonnaise, Ooh, and mustard on a toasted cold. bun. Wow, Interestingly, chips, despite the fries. name of this burger That's and the restaurant fries. in which it is served, the Fat Burger features lean beef. The original fat burger has one third of a pound of beef, and there are How three larger burgers? versions, in case you're extra hungry. The tricky thing to, about like, Steak and Shake is that you really need to do your research so know. you know what to order. If you go in blind, oh, there's a real before. chance that you will leave this burger restaurant with your tail between your legs. In theory, the Western Barbecue and Bacon Steak Burger should be really good. This sandwich has two slabs of beef, bacon, American cheese, fried onions, and barbecue sauce. Sadly, the reality of the situation is you shouldn't order this burger because the barbecue sauce is way too sweet and has an artificial smoky aftertaste. Conversely, like you'll be though. thanking the burger gods if you get your hands on the White Truffle Prime Steak Burger. This glorious beast good. features the a mushrooms. pair of Swiss cheese slices, perfectly caramelized onions, grilled Yum, mushrooms, and a truffle aioli on a brioche bun that has been toasted. Yeah, You're welcome. Bun looks so good. Burgerfy is quickly climbing the charts Burgerfy. when it comes to having the best burgers around, and as time passes, expect them to only climb higher and higher. There's a lot to love about Burgerfy. First of all, Burgerfy claims that wow. it only picks the top 1% of beef in the U.S. and that the beef has no antibiotics, growth hormones, or steroids. Wow. And science backed their claim. Secondly, they have one of the have best meatless burgers before? in the fast food universe. Burgerfy's VeggieFi burger is so good that even the proudest self-avowed carnivores will happily devour it and enjoy Dang, every second of it. Looks when like ordering meat from too. Burgerfy's menu, there's really no need to complicate things. The Burger Fry Cheeseburger is a classically delicious burger that you can't <gasps> help but thoroughly enjoy. Yoma. You can't accuse Smashburger for burying the lead when it comes burger. to their name, oh, as their flex? beef is literally smashed onto a buttered and seasoned grill in order to create the delectable flavor they're known for. While they aren't the only chain burger restaurant oh, to smash their beef, it. they've taken the practice to the next level oh, and have made it the, the focus thing. of their entire operation. Like Burger Five, Smash Burger is a relatively new here. kid on the block. The chain was founded in 2007, and it already has more than 300 locations across 36 Never states. Beyond their smashing here. technique, Smash Burger's success can be attributed to the fact that they have mastered just about everything on their menu. While the options are relatively limited, each and every item is really, really good. Considering that Wendy's is a fast food joint with more than 5,500 <gasps> locations that can be found in every nook and cranny oh in the nation, goodness. the quality of their burgers is astonishingly high. Maybe it's because their burgers are square. <gasps> more likely, the quality of their burgers is due to their practice of only using fresh beef that was never frozen at any point in time. The creme de la creme when it comes to Wendy's burgers is undoubtedly Dang. the Great Baconator. If you've never eaten one of these bad boys, you're missing out. It has half of a pound of their never frozen beef, six slices of smoked bacon, two slices of American cheese, mayonnaise, stuff. and ketchup. The first time you eat one is borderline euphoric, and you can even have one for breakfast. Shake Shack oh, cool. hasn't even been around for 20 years, but their masterful burgers are impossible to ignore. Wait, Try I one of their burgers and you won't be surprised at all to learn that they've become so successful that didn't they now have in excess of 275 locations around the globe. 
Don't let their name fool you, as the milkshakes take a back That's seat at Shake Shack. Far and away, the best item on their menu is the Shack Burger. It has tomato, lettuce, Shake and a Shack. yummy bun that's made out of a potato roll. However, it's the potato beef roll. that's the star of the show. What? Shake Shack only uses Angus beef that's free of antibiotics and hormones Ooh, and was raised on a pasture, not Shake in a factory this. farm. If you want something a little bit different at Shake Shack, the Smoke Shack is exactly what you seek. This fancy burger has delectable bacon on it that was smoked over applewood. It also has cherry pepper slices to add just the right amount of heat. When Whataburger oh, was born nice, at Corpus nice, Christi, like Texas, that. the impressive size of their burgers was the main selling Wait, point. While the size of their burgers again? will still impress you, it's the flavor that will have you reminiscing for Whataburger. days on end. The magic begins with the standard Whataburger, which comes with lettuce, tomato, oh, pickles, not. onions, and mustard. It plot, sounds relatively simple, but it's a fantastic <laughs> burger that's so juicy and flavorful that it will keep your taste buds dancing. If you want to mix things up, go with a double Whataburger or a jalapeno plot. and cheese Whataburger that has enough jalapeno slices on it to make Whataburger's South Texas roots proud. I would like to buy a hamburger. I would like to buy the hamburger. I've never had water burger before. Like to Maybe we There's should so stop. Many we don't the top three I'm spots in this ranking are separated by everything. a razor thin margin. All three chain burger restaurants have valid reasons guys. why they deserve the top spot. When it comes guys. to Five Guys, the freshness so of the burgers much. and their obvious burger expertise make a compelling guys? case. Oh Going forward, oh gosh, it wouldn't take much for this so, chain so to leap into first place. So, While so Wendy's is famous for never freezing their beef, Five Guys takes it a step further. <gasps> Not only is oh, their beef so never much. frozen, they don't even have freezers on the premises. That's an impressive wow, level of dedication to offering fresh yeah, food. Impressive. Furthermore, while other burger places claim to be experts in the field, Five Guys chefs have the recipes down to a science, so much so that they don't even use timers. And that's basically unheard wow. of in this industry. Wow! You can it confidently is. shout from the rooftops that In-N-Out Burger has oh, the best on. burger in all the land, what? and you won't get much pushback. People may look at you like you're crazy for climbing onto a roof to scream about burgers, but there won't be many who Dude, decide to argue I've against had In -N -Out you. Before, In and Out Burger so has stupendous mediocre. options, from the humble cheeseburger I'm to the sugar. animal style burger with grilled onions and pickles from their not, not so secret me. menu. The key to In N Out Burger's success is the mastering of ratios. The ratio it of the beef to the cheese and the ratio of the beef to the bun are both ideal and result in a delicious hype. burger. While I other burger eateries are plagued by too much bread or not enough beef, that's never an issue at In-N-Out Burger. For 2020, the Harris Poll found that Culver's reigned supreme in the Culver's. burger restaurant category. And we agree that never this chain burger before. restaurant is the best in the United States. If you've never eaten a burger at Culver's, a smart way to think of this place is to consider it Five Guys, but with superior toppings. Oh, From their buns okay. to their meat and everything in between, you can count on Culver's to deliver top-notch ingredients that are bursting with flavor. The oh most famous gosh, burger at good. Culver's the is the, the Butter onions. Burger. Don't be confused and think that this burger features a buttery meat concoction. The word butter in Butter Burger refers to the fact this burger comes on a buttered bun that has been lightly toasted. Bottom line, you'll be blown away by the freshness and the authenticity of all the ingredients. And you too will be exclaiming to one and all that Culver's is now the home of the best burgers. Check out one of our newest nice. videos right Never here, plus Culver's even before. more mashed videos about your favorite Never restaurant chain. Dude, I was so confused uh, in a little bit of that video. I thought like they were getting repeated or something, but I, I don't think they were actually, I'm not sure. Um, okay, Five Guys is my favorite. Like I said at the start of the video, in and out number two spot. Guys, I had in and out in California when I was there like a few years ago, not nah, several years ago now. And, uh, I was, you know, I knew about it. I knew about the in and out hype. Like everyone right raves about it. And I got it and I tried it. I was like, this is extremely average. Extremely, extremely average. Like it wasn't, it wasn't like disgusting, but it was just very, very, very average. Way overhyped, in my opinion. That's why I was surprised to see it in the number two spot. I feel like maybe the hype of in and out got it to the number two spot that's just me though that's just me 
I way prefer Five Guys, but I was glad to see Five Guys in the top three. Never heard of Culver's before though. I want to go to the States and I want to go to a lot of these like chain restaurants and film like me taste testing them. So let me know which ones you think I should go to. I've been to a few of them. I actually went to Johnny Rockets when I was really, really young, like um, 15. And um, I didn't realize it was a chain restaurant until now. <laughs> I remember going there because I took photos of like the car I thought was really cute, like kind of retro. And I still remember the photos. And uh, yeah, flash forward to today, I'm like, oh, that's a chain. I did not know that. <laughs> <laughs> um, my goodness gracious me, what do you guys think? That was pretty, that was pretty controversial, I think. Um, you know, I haven't been to all of these places, but t definitely towards the start, it was quite savage. Like, the video was quite savage towards these fast food places. Like, Sonic, I had no idea. Uh, I've never been there before, but I didn't think it would get such harsh reviews. I didn't think it was bad. Let me know. I feel like that's a little bit controversial. Um, the worst looking one for me was definitely, I think it was called White Castle. Oh, I know why I was confused. One place was called Steak and Shake. And the other one was called Sh Shake Shack. I thought it was the same place. Um, also, I was surprised to see Burger King so high up on that list. Um, I like Burger King, but I just don't think they should have been so high up on that list. Because Burger King can get very dicey. Like, sometimes you can get some really bad Burger King. Eh? Like, real greasy, like, just gross. It just flopped together, right? What do you guys think? Yeah, White Castle. White Castle, but these little sliders, they look disgusting. Right? They look disgusting. It's like all bread, a little tiny bit of meat, a slither of meat, some cheese, and I guess some pickles. That looks gross. Oh, mate, that looks so plain. Like, I could make that in five seconds at home. Let me know what you guys thought about this list, you guys. That was super, super fun. Thank you so much, Cody, for sending me through this video. Uh, I love a good burger, you guys. I love a good burger, and I've got some ideas of where I want to go in the future. My goodness, I need to go to Whataburger for sure, for sure. Um, and Culver's, never heard of it, but I will definitely go there that is the video thank you so much for tuning in give this video a thumbs up if you did like it leave your thoughts down below and let me know what is your favorite chain burger restaurant down below in the comments very very interesting i feel like a lot of people are going to have different perspectives and thoughts about it i'm very very intrigued so guys thank you so so much for watching today's video i had a lot of fun with this one um hopefully catch you on the next video subscribe down below if you haven't already and i will see you all in my next video bye guys